Minority Leader, Senator James Orengo. Uh, I thank you, Madam Speaker, also for getting a chance to eulogize uh, and send condolences to the family of our colleague, Senator Boniface Mutinde Kabaka. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, if ever there was a jovial man in this Senate, if there was ever a kind man in this Senate, Senator Kabaka was such a person. I am aware of many uh, verses in the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, that compares life uh, to, to, to the grass that withers away and to the flower that fades away. And you find those words in many uh, parts of the scripture in both uh, uh, books of the, of the Bible. And uh, when I remember how fast Senator Kabaka has left us, then I only hope that uh, as the word of the Lord lasts and stays uh, forever, his life will remain with us and with generations to come because what we place in record regarding uh, uh, Senator Kabaka will be read and attested to by future generations. M uh, Madam Speaker, I want to compare Senator Kabaka to a famous uh, statesman in old Rome called Marcus Cicero. He was a man of letters, he was a lawyer, he was a statesman, he was an orator. Uh, the only thing, and a man of letters, as I've said, the only difference between him and Senator Kabaka was that, because, uh, because he was a successful lawyer and a successful politician, the only difference is that uh, he tried to uh, overthrow the government in Rome, which Kabaka has never tried. But in every, in every respect, including, you know, uh, calling for democratic rule, because Caesar also wanted the old Republican tradition uh, to be maintained in Rome before Julius uh, Caesar and after he became the emperor in all Rome. So I, I hope in the life of a great man like this, because uh, he always sat in front of me or I sat behind him or vice versa. But he was truly inspiring uh, as a, a man of letters and as a human being. I, I hope that uh, we will remember him for the good deeds he, de he did for this country and for being firm and principled. Uh, whether we disagreed or agreed, he, he remained principled and that I'd always remember. Finally, I, Madam Speaker, I always encourage all the young senators that, you know, uh, create your brand. And Kabaka created his brand. And say everything that you must say. Even if people think you are wrong, say it. The only thing that we must always maintain is decorum. Because, you know, as politicians, sometimes we go overboard. Lawyers never go the way politicians go. The churches, the bishops don't call each other names like politicians do. And Kabaka never did. So Senator Langat Andrew. Okay, thank you, Madam Speaker, for also giving me this particular opportunity to mourn one of our great leaders, Senator Kabaka. I want to say that uh, dead is a monster that spares no one irrespective of wisdom or knowledge. I want to say Senator Kabaka was a great man. I've heard so many of us talk about him as a great debater. He was a great debater here, and I want to say that if anyone ever sat with Kabaka outside this particular house in a free environment and listened to him, he was a man of great knowledge. He had an aspiration to become the next governor of Machakos. He had a plan for that particular uh, uh, vision. I remember one time I asked him if he was an economist. Because his arguments on the area of economics expressed a lot of wisdom and brilliance. As Senator Jerujota said, I want to express a lot of concern in the area of media council. 
what sometimes the social media and the media, even the mainstream media, talks about people, uh, especially on their dead, is very disrespectful to the families. They forget about ethics that they learned in university, about being mindful of even the significant other people who are around us. Sometimes what these people say are more injurious to the living than even Senator Kilonzo Mutula, Junior. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I hope I can do this in three minutes. It's very difficult to eulogize Senator Kabaka. When uh, I didn't see him here for three weeks, after the Naivasha retreat on BBI, I called him personally. He told me he was unwell. He explained that he had several symptoms which I advised him to go and get checked. And it turned out that he actually had COVID and a, and a tumor. Madam Speaker, I checked on him every day uh, after that. Senator Kabaka was the sort of person, even when he was unwell, he was still having coffee here and there, full of life. So it was very disturbing to receive a call on 4th of December that he was unwell. I'm still very traumatized because I had to do a lot of organization through the parliament to get Senator Kabaka checked because I was told about his diagnosis of excessive bleeding at 6 a.m. on that day. Although I wanted to disclose to all you members what had befallen Kabaka, I, was, I really restrained myself. As a result, I really suffered with that information and therefore just to find him immobile at um, the hospital was more traumatizing. I met Kabaka in 2009 in Kaba, where I went to pick my lovely wife, Anita, where he comes from. And I've known him and used to call me his in-law yeah, in, in Kikamba, Adoni. Uh, to, to find to, for Kabaka and his largeness of life to be reduced into a coffin tomorrow is something that will be very traumatizing to me. That great man and great humor who used to sit behind us here, it's a, it's a tragedy. I want to remind you members that in the end, as politicians, we're all human beings. Let's be friends. Let's know one another. And may his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Um, I really have a problem with time. So I would ask that uh, if one can use about two minutes instead of three, it would be easier. I don't know how you'll use the two minutes. Senator Amos Wako, kindly. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk about a learned colleague. Senator Kabaka was a first term, was having his first term as senator. And as usual, when those having second term receive those who are now coming in for the first time, they, we observe them. And Senator Kabaka quickly made his mark upon me as somebody who was giving his all, real, literally his all, uh, to serve the people who elected him. And that came out clearly when you talked with him. It came out clearly when he made contributions in this house that he was very much concerned with uh, it. Senator Amoswako, there is a point of order Sorry. by Senator Mutula Kilonzo. Madam Speaker, this is a special sitting. We are supposed to sit until midnight, and we are very few of us left. And all these senators here will not find an opportunity to say something tomorrow. Um, and although the standing orders require that I request for an extension of time, since a special sitting, I'm not sure whether that standing order applies. But even if it doesn't apply, Madam Speaker, would, it be, would you be kind enough to allow at least the people in this chamber to say something? Even if you give them two minutes, we will not extend beyond even to seven o'clock because they will not get that opportunity tomorrow. Thank you. Um, it looks like you read my mind. I was actually getting a copy of the standing orders to see, uh, to quote the relevant section to be able to extend time to allow those that are here to be able to, to talk about our colleague. Being a special sitting and a sitting that involves the death of one of our 
of our members. I think we can do for those that are here. So I will be able to extend time, maybe by another 10 or so minutes for us to be able to conclude. So, so the, the, those that are here uh, will be able to be accommodated. Please proceed, Senator Amoswako. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I had not known Senator Kabaka before. He was not in my party, but when he came here, he impacted upon me very seriously as, an, as a member of the legal profession. In fact, he's the one who took the initiative to come and consult me from time to time on issues legal. And through that, I came to know him fairly well. But I would not have known him even better until we had the debate on the formula. Because here was somebody who, whose county was getting quite a bit of money. And yet, he, he was ready to say no. His own governor attacked him from time to time in the press. And on the day of the debate, of the decision on that matter, I really tried to observe him, how he was, was going to react. And it may be recalled that on that day itself, even the leader of minority really defended Senator Kabaka against the attacks by the governor and so on, very, very, very strongly. And in my mind, I thought he may just change his mind and now vote for the formula because the county was benefiting. But he was sitting there and he walked very resolutely, very focused, and said a big no to the formula. Although he was concerned with the welfare of his people, the issues of uh, rule of law, social justice and so on were above that and he acted in accordance. Yes, your time is up, so, um, but uh, all, one minute for yes, you to put on record. I just want to put on record my condolences on my own behalf and on, the, and, and on behalf of the people of the county of Busia at the passing away of Senator Kabaka. May the Almighty God give him strength, give the family strength and comfort during this period of sorrow and grief. Uh, Deputy, Deputy Speaker, Senator Margaret Kamar. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for allowing me the opportunity to join my colleagues in registering on behalf of the people of Wasinkishu County our deepest condolences to the family of Senator Boniface Mutinde Kabaka, a man who distinguished himself as a great debater, as a very seasoned lawyer. He gave a lot of advice on the legal part of issues, including at the committee, when, the, when he was in the, his committee. Madam Speaker, we shall miss him, but we believe that God has really had a better plan for him. Madam Speaker, uh, Senator Kabaka died at the time when I had told him that I was going for payback in Machakos because my own auntie was married in 1965 and we were going there for two beautiful brides from Machakos. And when I was looking for him, I actually looked for Mutula because I couldn't trace him and he was not picking, but uh, I was glad that uh, I, I was glad we got the brides, but very, very sad because one of the times we went there is when he was in hospital. I really, uh, I know we'll miss uh, uh, Senator Kabaka, but when the day he died at two in the morning, at eight in the morning, we also lost Joe Nyaka at 1.30, and I, my deepest condolences to the family of Joe Nyaka, who was also a member of this uh, house and also a member of the cabinet. We also have the governor of Nyamira, who is in the same mortuary currently. We also send our deepest condolences through our senator of Nyamira, uh, Senator Mogeni. It is a very difficult time, and particularly when we know 
you can have only one minute, Madam Speaker, only one One minute. Yeah, um, just one minute to say that uh, the death of these uh, very dear brothers of ours uh, is just part of the losses that we have made because of COVID. And we really must start thinking about this. And I would like to join those who have been urging government, especially the county governments, to look at how we treat our doctors. Because we really need to think of how to assist our doctors so that they can assist our people. Madam Speaker, I... I, I thank you for the opportunity. Senator Masitsa Naomi Shionga. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this time to enjoy you and sending my tribute to Senator Kabaka Bonface Mutinda. Madam Speaker, I would like to start by saying that the hour of deaths, or the hour of deaths cannot be forecast. And we can only imagine that it will be a distance in future. For our colleague Kabaka, it came very soon. Madam Speaker, I had time to go and visit him to the hospital that material day he passed, only to be told that he's no more. You can imagine how I felt going to visit somebody and you are told he's heading to the mock. With all the true respect, Madam Speaker, it's my honor to speak about him today. Although I wish I were talking about his retirement party and celebrating what great man he was, instead I'm talking or eulogizing Senator Kabaka. Madam Speaker, he, Madam, uh, Senator Kabaka was a honorable member. He was an articulate leader who bought or who put courage with to everything he did. He had fine political mind and indeed he was. We can all think that we are living. And I want to tell my people that life is so unfair that it came soon for our colleague Kabaka. It has taken him soon from the family and we shall never see Kabaka again. Madam Speaker, please allow me one minute because I just want to finish my tripping. One minute, please. Yes. Madam Speaker, it was very hard for me to hold when I was in the hospital that I was headed to the mock. I want to say that death is a reminder to all of us that how life is very short for us. Please treasure every moment you live. Rest in peace, my colleague Kabaka, until we meet again. Bye-bye. God bless you and bless your journey. Thank you. Senator Haji Farhia Ali. Uh, uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity uh, to send my heartfelt condolences to the family of Senator Kabaka. Uh, I also wish to send my condolences to my own backyard uh, a chief from my area was butchered today by Al-Shabaab, and he was actually beheaded. So that shows that this uh, Al-Shabaab element can attack anybody anytime. And, uh, and it doesn't matter whether whichever religion, it's just at their own convenience. So I wish to send my condolences. Madam Speaker, coming back to Senator Kabaka, Senator Kabaka was very much passionate about the people of Machakos, Madam Speaker. He, 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 he had a great vision for the county of Machakos, where he hoped to be the, 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 the governor. Madam Speaker, I am sad that he never realized his vision. Madam Speaker, uh, 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 Senator Kabaka was a man of his own words. If he said one word, it is, that is what you get, Madam Speaker. So he was very reliable as a, com, uh, as a colleague. He was there for you when you needed him more. I remember we visited uh, uh, Senator Faki when he lost his son. Uh, uh, and we visited his home with him. Uh, and he, 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 he was empathetic to, to, to uh, colleagues. Madam Speaker, 
uh, in the, in the la before the committees were changed, I shared two committees with Senator Kabaka. So we, we, I got fond of him. I have never attended a burial ceremony. This will be my first time because of how dear Senator Kabaka was to all of us. Uh, Madam Speaker, I remember when Senator uh, Wambua brought a, 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 you know, a pending bill motion on his behalf of his county. Please conclude in one minute. Uh, Senator Kabaka supported Senator Wambua passionately in defending the, uh, the, the people who never got their, 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 their bill. He, he was also lively. You know, sometimes he was so lively that I can't imagine now we have already lost him. In my head, that is something that I have not conceptualized up to now. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, I mean, I think life is, it was said before, life is too short. Let us appreciate each other when we are alive and all of us can, you know, appreciate uh, ourselves. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me that extra second. Senator Sylvia Kasanga on Zoom. is gone. He, he was a personal friend uh, beyond even being a colleague. I have had the honor of, of attending several functions alongside him. We've lost you. We've lost your voice. We can only see your face. Can you hear us? I'm I, yes, I can hear you. Okay, Somebody had back. muted me. You're back now. Please proceed. Yes, so Thank you, Madam Speaker. I had the opportunity to attend several functions with Senator Kabaka. In Machakos, we raised funds at a church where the speaker was presiding. Then he went and hosted us a wonderful lunch in Machakos town. Then he came to my church in Daystar, our Catholic church, and he helped us to raise funds and we spent an entire day with him. And then Madam Speaker, Senator Kabaka was a lover of trees. We actually have a forest here, which he came to plant with us of over a thousand trees. We call it uh, the forest of Senator Kabaka here in Lukenya. That is how much he loved trees and he planted lots of trees in Ukambani. Madam Speaker, I, I have to say I have lost a, a personal friend, somebody who shared information freely, somebody who gave advice as and when it was required. He was always whipping me to make sure that I am working hard in my business and making sure my business does not, you know, get overshadowed by Senate affairs. He was really a good man. He was hardworking in his practice. He was self-made, you know, the sort of leader that young people need to emulate. Young people need to understand that you can actually find your way into the highest house of this house by sheer hard work, commitment, and honor in everything that you do. He was really a good example to the young people, Madam Speaker. He was also very steadfast. And like most of my colleagues have said, he was a man of his word. What he said, he meant it, and he stood by it. I really feel the loss of, of, of Senator Kabaka. I will personally miss him, and I really feel it for the citizens of Machakos because he had a vision for Machakos. He really, really had a vision for Machakos. Madam Speaker, I pray that his soul may rest in eternal peace and that his family may be comforted by the love of God and that, the, you know, the man Order, that Senator he was will always remain and will be. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity. Your time is up. Thank you. Um, Senator Maura Isaac. Thank you, uh, Mr. S Madam Speaker. I really want to mourn my friend, someone who I knew uh, many years when we were in the same party in ODM. We stood out, the two of us, because he was Kamba, I was Kikuyu, and we used to console each other that we may be in the wrong party because of ethnicity. But uh, we nevertheless, because of our ideology, le center-left ideology, we stood together, shoulder to shoulder. And it's quite interesting that in the 12th parliament, we made it to the Senate. He is a friend who we shared a lot in terms of the books that we read and the good command of English, really, uh, since the times that we, uh, we were inducted together as senators, all of us in Naivasha. And further, uh, actually, his benevolence and um, 
great, you know, humanity was displayed when uh, the first sen uh, the senator from Migori died, Ben Oloch, and he volunteered, only him, in that big funeral to educate his children. And that really says a lot. Senator Kabaka is really well read. I think he has about four master's degrees, actually. Uh, so he's, he's not just somebody who reads books. He has a lot of it, and I think he was engaged, enrolling into another one, over and above pursuing a PhD degree. Uh, Senator Kabaka was the only man who stood with me uh, by signing my papers when I was competing to be the deputy speaker of this house. And for that, I will forever remain grateful. Uh, he's a man that really uh, believed in my course. We served with him in the Committee of Finance and Budget, Madam Speaker. And also, uh, we traveled together. I remember we were with him last year, November, in Cape Town, uh, enjoying the, uh, the, the, the various you know, aspects of that place, including Robin Island. And he's really a great man. In fact, he frogmarked me this year uh, when we were defending the Senate at Naivasha in the retreat. That was his commitment. He just took me from the chair and said, let's go and fight for it. So, Madam Speaker, I mourn a friend, a great patriot, a man who really was ahead of his time, and I believed who would have been the future governor of Machakos. May you rest in peace, Senator Boniface Kabak. Senator Mbogo George Uchilo Ayako. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to condole with the family of uh, Senator Kabaka, the people of Machakos. I do so on my own behalf and on the behalf of my family and the people of Migori. We, the people of Migori, had also the misfortune of losing my predecessor and the sadness that engulfs Machakos, we had occasion to experience it. Uh, in such sad times, we recourse to God we recourse to one another, and we share this and all the grief. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity. I just want to say two things about Senator Kabaka. Senator Kabaka was a pompous person with very colorful language. And those who do not understand pomp and colorfulness would mistake it for arrogance. If you went beneath the veneer of Senator Kabaka, he was a humble and loving person. And among the senators who are here, in my view, is he, if history is written, you will find that he will occupy uh, one of the front chapters. Most of us will occupy the footnotes of that history because he earned it. He is a person who stood and fought for justice and particularly social justice. I want to conclude, Madam Speaker, that I'm happy that Senator Kabaka is not being cremated. There is a trend of people getting cremated and I almost got uh, caught into that trend. And Madam Speaker, uh, there is this book in the Bible that talks about Lazarus, and when the Lord went to uh, look for him, he found the body of Lazarus and raised it. If Lazarus had been cremated, there would be nobody to raise. So I'm happy that uh, when the time of Kabaka comes to rise, his body will be there to be raised. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Mogeni Eric Okon. Uh, Madam Speaker, on my own behalf, on behalf of my family and the people of Nyamira, I also want to take this opportunity to pass my condolences to the family of the late uh, Senator Kabaka. Uh, Madam Speaker, Senator Kabaka is a, a very special friend to me. Other than Senator Cherage, Senator Mutula, and Senator Naomi Wako, he is one of those few senators who have, who have been privileged to host in my home in, in Nyamira. He has shared a meal with my mom. And what stands out uh, uh, from the other three is that he even uh, conducted an arambe for my church uh, called Motagara SDA. I and Mr. Senator Kabaka uh, were privileged to work for the same law firm, Kingori Karioke and Company Advocates. And it's the staff in that law firm that interested me to know Kabaka. They described him as a very happy and jovial person. In this house, we cannot compete for anybody who, who is as friendly or as jovial as, Mr. Ka as uh, Senator Kabaka. We cannot find a man who was as bold, brave, and courageous as Senator Kabaka. We have lost a great friend. We have lost a man who had a lot to contribute to the uh, growth of this house as a Senate and the people of Machakos are the poor. He was not the richest man in this house, but he was the most generous. He was free to give to a, a, a social cause, church arambes when people are died. And I hope, Madam Speaker, that the people of Machakos will consider rewarding 
a member of the family, may it be a son or a daughter, with that senatorial seat of Machakos. May God bless his soul in eternal peace. Senator Inima Gertrude Musorube. Uh, thank, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to condole my colleague. And uh, on behalf of uh, myself, uh, persons with disabilities in this republic, and my family, uh, I want to say uh, pole sana to the family of uh, Senator uh, Kabaka. Indeed, as uh, colleagues have said, uh, Senator Kabaka was a friend of everyone. He was a team player and he was really empathetic. He would empathize with all colleagues and uh, anytime he spoke to someone, he had something to tell someone. I remember at one point last year when I went to South Africa, I took a team of uh, Kenyan players there. When I told uh, Senator Kabaka that I was going to South Africa, he gave me contacts of his sisters and his sister and he linked us up and we were able to interact and the sister confirmed that uh, Senator Kabaka was able to educate all his siblings. So Senator Kabaka had a very big heart and he did what God intended him to do and this is a lesson to us that when God gives us a role in, uh, in this world as we are living we should endeavor to do our God given role because at the end of the day we have to go back to himself and I want to say that death is painful but uh, even at this time uh, we have to really thank God for the opportunity he gave us to be with Senator uh, Kabaka and it's also a lesson to us that uh, we should endeavor to live a legacy so that we can be remembered for the good deeds that we have done uh, you know uh, as God allows us to do. I want to say uh, Paul Sana to the family of uh, Senator uh, Kabaka and I hope that God will also favor us to ensure that his legacy in leadership in family comes back to the Senate and Parliament. Thank you Honorable Speaker. Other senators, I pass again my condolences to the family of uh, the late Kabaka. And we have said enough, no, not, not enough, we have said much, but not enough to describe him. May he rest in peace. Honorable senators, having concluded the business of the day, it is now time to adjourn the house. The Senate therefore stands adjourned until Tuesday 9th, February 2020 at 2.30 p.m. I also uh, say that uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to the Senators.